Okay. How did it all start? It was back in the late 80s. I was into photography as a hobby. I had a couple of SLR cameras. And my father-in-law, he just had a, a compact camera that he used to take on holiday. And uh, he, he couldn't get on with it for some reason. So he wanted to give me this camera. And it was an Olympus trip. And it was like a point and shoot camera. The advantage was that it was quite small and I was able to keep it in my pocket or in my jacket and I could take it everywhere. It was one of those sort of things that just fitted what I needed just then. And we, we were starting to take the kids on holidays abroad and I was able to just take this one little camera with me and get all our holiday photos and, and I didn't have to pack a load of camera gear. And I was really sort of blown away with the results. The, the pictures were really sharp and well exposed and they were as good as the pictures I was getting from my Pentax cameras. So I had that camera, you know, every year we went on holiday throughout the 1990s when my kids were growing up. And uh, it, gave me, it gave me an idea. Later on, I was looking for a, a business, a small business idea that I could start and run from home. And I knew quite a lot about my Olympus trip by then. It was something that I'd really got familiar with and I knew, I knew it, how it worked and what I could use it for. And I was just chatting to my son Adam one day. Uh, he came up with this name, Trip Man. father-in-law he, he uh, worked out how to take it apart completely and then rebuild the camera uh, and that meant that we could fix any any camera because all the parts seemed to be pretty much interchangeable between cameras so if we had a good cosmetically good camera that we could fix that camera if, even if the light meter had worn out or that um, there was some problem with the lens, we could change the lens. And sometimes the leather on old cameras gets dirty or, or the, the edges start to peel away. So I was inspired by Leica who were doing limited edition cameras or special editions with different types of leather than the normal just plain black. So this gave me the idea of putting new leather on to Olympus Trip to make it refreshed and unique. I like the idea of personalising and, and sort of making a camera something that is yours, that is different from other cameras. So the business is actually run from our home 
Um, it's a small niche business. And I like to keep it that way, really. I, I, I don't want to make it a big business or expand it too much. I just want to keep it so that it's a nice lifestyle business. And the idea is really just, just to stay niche, but to offer the best product and accessories uh, that we can. And, and I see the future as um, being more about quality rather than quantity. still use my Olympus trip camera, the one that I got from my father-in-law. This is the camera here. That's what started it all off. And it's got an original filter on the front there, but otherwise it's pretty standard. This is a, a camera that I'll always keep. I'll never, I'll never sell this camera. It's got uh, Quite a lot of meaning for me and I've got an emotional attachment to it. So it's not um, cosmetically perfect, it's not mint, it's, it's used and uh, I like the fact that it's got its little marks and things on it which shows that it's had some life, it's got some history to it. In actual fact this one was made in June 1979. So sometimes I'm asked what my business is, USP is. What's the unique thing about my business? What's so good about Tripman? And my answer normally would be, well, it's a niche business. It's a one-stop shop for everything to do with Olympus trips. But I suppose more than that is the fact that it's been running for over 20 years now um, and I'm still enjoying running this small family home-based business. It is a, a lifestyle thing for me. But I've got a passion for the camera in the first place. I've got history with this camera. And, you know, I just love everything about the Olympus trip camera and I still use it on a weekly basis. So it's the passion behind the business is the thing that I think makes me, uh, as a businessman, unique.